Hi right, guys, we're going to make a mushroom hold down today. We'll start off making the mushroom by cutting out uh, a three inch disc from this bit of old um, plate. It's, it's actually four mil, so it's, it's just a little bit thicker than the, the eighth. It's a bit noisy. Actually, it didn't take all that long to cut that out. Um, I could have slowed it down a bit, but ho oh, hum. All right, so that's the disc. Just want to get it out of the uh, cutter. Right, drop it out of there and we'll clean it up. Alright, so just going to clean up the rough edges and flap disc. Just take the worst off. There we go, nice and clean. Now we're going to try and dish it. I've got this set up in the fly press, just um, sitting over a bit of pipe. I'm just going to give it a go with the fly press. I did have a bigger ball on one of these but I can't find it anywhere so I'm just using this one for now which doesn't make it quite as domed it's more pointy but it doesn't actually matter you, know, you could do this uh, over a hole in the anvil there you go so I'm just going to drill out the hole now because I'm going to put it on a piece of 16mm round 5.8 which is the size of the hole my hardy hole in the anvil A trusty 16mm drill. It's a three fluted drill and they absolutely drill brilliantly. I don't catch. They're a cracking drill. You can't seem to get many of them these days. I'm just going to put a bit of wood under this because uh, the grips are catching on the, uh, the other bit of wood. So I can't hold it straight. So that's better. Beautiful. There you go. Now, I'm going to weld this to the top of this bit of 5.8 round. Um, try and get it as square as I can. And that goes to full length, almost down to the floor. I've also cut ready a bit of inch and a half by inch and a half by six mil angle and about two inches of three quarter gas barrel. I'm going to weld the angle to the barrel and then it's going to be welded down at the bottom of the anvil. All right, so I've welded up the, the mushroom. That's going to drop in there, fairly square. And I'll tap these bits together. Doesn't need a light; it's only a guide, so it doesn't need really to be fully welded. And that is going to be welded down here. You can see where I've ground the uh, base of the anvil. Right, I've got it clamped up, lined it up where I want it, I'm just going to tack it on. 
I didn't realise until I started uh, welding this that um, that's actually a bit of galvanised that I'm welding to. Must have been a bit of galvanised channel that I used. So we got um, plenty fumes. And you don't want to be breathing in too many uh, galvanised uh, fumes because it's actually I think it's cyanide or something very sim similar. Whatever it is, it's pretty nasty. Right now, at the bottom of the um, bit of bar that's got the mushroom on, I'm just going to drill about a 10mm hole, starting off with a bit of a pilot hole, using this um, little sort of hand vise just to try and keep it square. Which 10 mil going through here isn't actually going to leave me a lot of meat. Um, some people say, why didn't I punch it? Well, uh, that is obviously the perfect solution, but unfortunately, the pretzel hole in the anvil is only just big enough to get the 16 mil through. So, swelling it out by punching it, there's no way it would actually go through the hole. So, that's why I'm I'm just drilling it. It should work just about the same. And stick the 10 mil through. Bit of cutting fluid. There you go. Right. Now what I'm going to do is get another bit of 16mm round and actually taper the end of it so that the taper will fit into the hole that I've just drilled in the other 16mm. Um, I was going to use a, just a bit of 10mm and poke it in but I thought it uh, would be nicer if it was a bit heavier. So, as usual Taper it out square to start with. Once I've got to what I think is about the right size, you can then start rounding it off. And keep your blows even. You'll notice a lot of the time that I actually move the material, not the hammer. Nope. Not quite small enough, so I'll have to get another heat and do another bit. Just draw it down a little bit more. Yeah, as I was saying, you, um, when you do much hammer work on the anvil, if you can, move the material rather than the hammer just the hammer should be just going up and down up and down and you move the material underneath it uh, it doesn't always happen but that's your ideal scenario you can sort of see it there That must be about right now. That's better. That'll hammer in there quite nicely. So we're we'll going to cut that off. No specific length, just what looks about right to put your foot on. Cracking tool that is. Better than a hacksaw. Alright now let's put it all together and see what happens. 
Obviously, if you've got your anvil on a wooden block, you could make one of these little the, the guide at the bottom and uh, screw it to the block. Um, if your block is wider than your anvil, then you're knackered. But um, see how it goes. Yeah, that looks all right. Holds that quite well. Not bad. I suppose the proof of the pudding, as they say, will be in the eating. Let's get a bit hot and try it. Not bad at all, actually. I was quite impressed with that. It doesn't move much at all. I'm not actually making anything. I'm just knocking a chiselling just to see how well it holds and I was quite surprised I was giving that some stick and it didn't go anywhere really so I'm very pleased it's gone in quite deep it's not very neat but that's not the point it works and there you go Hope you enjoyed that and see you on the next one.